Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here. Welcome back to another episode of this Football Manager 2021 save here with Sevilla. There's been a lot gone on. There's been a lot gone on. I may have played further than I expected, but you know when you just get into a rhythm on FM, we've been building this new tactic on the save. We've been changing a few stuff with the squad. I've been really trying to hone in on the save and improve what we were doing. And I've ended up going way further forward than I probably expected. We probably could have fit one more episode in between the time span I've gone forward. So there's going to be a lot to unpack in this episode. So let's just get right to it. We'll start unpacking by going through the Europa League. And what's happened there? We're in the semi-final, guys. We're in the semi-final. I'm really happy. And I pointed that way. I should be pointing that way. And that's just sometimes you get your points wrong. It's It happens, right? I, I get confused. Anyway, we're playing against Rangers. We shouldn't just instantly think, okay, we're coming up against Rangers. We're severe. We're a better team. Rangers did actually knock out Napoli, which, to my surprise, and Morelos is the top goal scorer in this competition and, and probably will be by the end of the competition because he's got 14 goals in it. They're having an unbelievable time in this at the moment, our Rangers. It does feel weird recording this after they've just been knocked out of the Europa League in real life, but... What can I do? Milan got knocked out as well. It will be Leicester and AC Milan in the other semi-final. So a big final potentially. Just anything more. It's a final that we could potentially be playing in, which is great. It's fantastic news. Let's move on. Let's see how we got there first and foremost though. So first of all, a little bit of a bumpy ride. We did play against Arsenal. And as soon as we drew Arsenal, I decided I'm not going to do these as live comes. It's the first season. I want to try and breeze through the first season. Probably a bit of a mistake there because we did end up going through. It, boring matches, though. I will show you. I'll show you. I posted it on Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, go give me a follow. I did post a formation that we used against Arsenal in the second leg to get ourselves this uh, away goal victory. Yeah. That is what I played. That is exactly what I played. I've been absolutely ripping my hair out with this team, constantly changing tactics, swapping, switching, changing. And this is this is just what we played. This is what we played against uh, against Arsenal. It did the job. I mean, I've played it once, and that was the one time we played it. And at the end of the day, we went for an away goal. So I'm I'm a genius. I am a genius. All right, back to the back to the fixtures. Drew up against Galatasaray, and I was a little bit worried about this. I'm not going to lie. Galatasaray were having a good time in the tournament. They were playing very well. The first leg, we went two 0 up. This was when we were trialing a new tactic. So yes, I've used the Europa League to trial new tactics. Probably not the smartest decision, but I've done it now. Also, yes, this is a new skin. I've swapped to FME. I find over. A full year's worth of FM, I like to swap around. We probably will go back to the old skin at some point, but I just wanted a change of pace. I don't know about yourselves, but I'm close to a 1,000 hours now on this game. So it's good to freshen up the skin every now and again. El Naziri scoring two goals in the first half. They have a player sent off in the second half, which results in Falcao just going beast mode and then getting himself a goal back. But we then took the advantage. We dominated the game, which so we thoroughly deserved the, the scoreline that we got. We were dominating the game before they had a player sent off. We were looking very good. So, yeah, 4-1 result. And I was going to bring the second leg. And I thought, there's not really much point with a 4-1. And in the second leg, something really magical happened. Oscar's goal in the 94th minute was given because of VAR. It came up. You know where it doesn't flash up the name at the bottom? And you know instantly it's going to VAR, he's offside, the goal won't be given. The goal got given. The goal got given. So, football manager might have fixed that. The goal got given. Ryan Babbel's goal was disgusting. I don't want to talk about it. We absolutely dominated again. And the new tactic is kind of what I wanted to do at the start of the save. And then I gave up halfway through the season. It's, it's a thing. I gave up halfway through the season and stopped playing it. So, this is what the tactic we are using at the moment is. It's not that. It is not that. It is not that either. It is that. There we go. We got there in the end. And it is possession-based, very central, and really utilising the fact that we've got a ton of very good technical players. And so far, so good, I guess you could say. We've had decent results with it, and the team are kind of playing well with it. There are some glaring problems. The goalkeeper sucks at distribution. We need a new one of them. And maybe we could do some more clinical wingers, potentially, but it's early stages. We're getting more and more familiar as we go, and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I suppose the main reason I'm happy with it so far is because since we've swapped to it, we haven't lost a game. Yes, we drew against Ibar, which was ridiculous because we absolutely dominated. They played one ball through over the top, which I hate. I still hate that. But we've been great so far. We've won every game and drawn one. So, I mean, I cannot complain, but results that you have missed. So, since we did the Salzburg game, we played Bill Bow, we drew 2 2. Oliver with a 91st minute goal getting us back in that. You know about the Arsenal game, we lost to Alaves. 
Yep, we lost to Alaves. Less said about that, the better. Osasuna, we beat them 1 0. Ocampos with the goal. Oscar getting a double. Two screamers, by the way. And Gannigan rescuing this one again. There's been some rescue acts a few times in the way we've played. But in the 97th minute, Gannigan gave us the win against Katafe, which was huge. Then against Cadiz, we beat them 3 1. Again, wasn't really straightforward because Cadiz did score in the 77th minute to make it 1 1. Luckily for us, we rolled up our socks and we scored two goals. One in the 84th, one in the 89th minute to give us the victory in that game. The draw then against Ibar, frustrating, but it is what it is. We come up against Galatasaray, we beat them twice, and then recently in the league, we beat Levante with a rotated side. And again, a late goal. Willem Goebbels with a goal in the 94th minute. And if we're being 100% honest, we do keep rescuing games late on, but we deserved it. We absolutely battered them. It was one long ball over the top. I'll show you. It was one long ball over the top that did us. And we absolutely dominated this game against Levante. So it's nothing more than what we deserve. It's just really frustrating that we're having to rescue ourselves at the end of games. Look, if you watch this... Dink. That's it. That's how we get beat. That's how we've got beat several times. Yes, he was cheeky and chipped the goalkeeper. I don't like him for that, but the goalkeeper's not great. I do think maybe the goalkeeper should come out there making big... I don't know. Maybe he could save it. But anyway, that is the case at the moment. Again, we were drawing 1-1 against Galatasaray. Although we were up in the leg, we were winning 5-1 in the leg. Sorry, 5-2 in the leg. Oscar scored in the 94th minute. So we're very good at late goals. We're very, very good at late goals. But I'm kind of hoping we don't need to rely on them. This is a tough run now in the league. And in the league, we are looking okay. We're fourth. We beat Betis today. That's huge. The big one is don't lose to Betis today. I think as long as we don't lose, that's the best. We play Betis and then Atletico Madrid after that. As long as we don't lose those games, I think we'll be fine. Our biggest issue is sandwiched in between that now is we've got a semi-final against Rangers. So it's kind of a hectic month coming up. Well, a hectic two months coming up in the running towards the end of the season. And of course, we've got Barcelona sandwiched in there somewhere. But hopefully, I've got to be honest, I'm really focused at the moment on the Europa League. So ideally, we perform best in the Europa League. But let's get the Betis and Atletico Madrid games out of the way first. So we will be doing the Betis game today. Let's go and pick the team to take on Real Betis. Right, so this will be the team to take on Betis. It's a decent squad. Goobles will start on the left. Monier on the right. El Nesri up top. We're playing a deep line four at the moment let's try and get this result i feel like i've unpacked everything i feel like i've told you all that you all need to know about what's going on in the safe it, it was a lot it was a lot but i think i managed to do it in like what the space of like eight minutes so i'm really impressed with myself it was definitely fueled by this energy drink that i'm drinking right here but we got there and that's all that matters right we can relax a little bit now and hopefully get a victory here we need to play well We've been playing so well of recent. That's the thing, right? Where's where's Pump Fist? There we go. We've been playing so well of recently. And I want us to be able to keep that form up. The only worry for me is that we haven't played a side like Betis. I suppose it depends how highly you rate a team like Galatasaray. And we are away. And I think this is the first time we've played away. We will play on positive. We've been playing on positive recently. This has worked. I feel like this suits our team the most. Oh, Fakir's been taken off for medical attention. I mean, he is injury prone, but that's big news for us because he's a danger man. Can we get an early goal? We can't. He's a big danger man. Akuna has come into his own for us. Rakitic there putting it wide. Yes, we are still in 2D and I still will probably play in 2D. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm an old man. I just love 2D on Football Manager. It just, I don't know. It does something for me. It's the right way to play, if you ask me. It's probably not. 3D is the way forward, but we've played 3D for about 300 hours this year. And the animations still just irritate me a little bit. Not much has happened so far this first half, has it? Very, very quiet first half. Navas will win that. And is he going to give a penalty? No, referee. Hopefully, VAR will be on my side again here. Come on, VAR. Be on Yorkie's side. Checking the penalty. I think it's going to be given. They're normally given, aren't they? It's very rare that one's not given. What are we saying, ref? Oh, no penalty! I'm loving VAR at the moment. The officials are doing a brilliant job. VAR in Spain is brilliant. You might not like it in England. It's fantastic in Spain. It's a very good model. I like it, although they're on the ball now. The counter-attack is where they're probably going to be really dangerous. They've got some quick players as well. So hopefully, go on, Goobles, who started to play really well. He's wanted as well. I don't know why I said well so many times. They're going, Goobles, though. He hits the crossbar. It's the crossbar. Nayley made me look fantastic. I've just been boasting about you, Willem. I've just been boasting about you. 
We have dropped down to fifth because of the result with Villarreal. But that's kind of okay with me. This, at the end of the day, would be a fantastic win for us. But I'm not sure... I'm not sure. I think two draws. When I look at this team, there's so many great technical players, but then there's so many parts missing of the team. And usually how I would like to play football manager, that trying to figure out a tactic like this has been... It's hurt my head. It's hurt my head, boys. It really has. But we've got there. I'm really happy with what we've got at the moment. We just need a few more players, I think, that are capable of playing this. Like we said, we are going to stick to the DNA and philosophy of great passing players. El Nesri. Oh, there we go. El Nesri there with his 18th goal of the season. Marcus Acuna assisting him again. He's probably going to have a huge amount of assists since he's managed to keep himself, well, stave off the injuries. Paco Alcancer scoring for Villarreal. But yeah, so I'm kind of just working on this formation at the moment and I've kind of stuck to my guns. We wanted to play like this at the start of the year. I just wasn't sure I don't score straight away. I just wasn't sure how we work it out and Canales puts it wide. That's absolutely fine. Let's keep it that way, boys. Just weren't sure how we get it to work. And so far, so good at the moment. This would leapfrog us to third above Valencia. Now, I would rather not finish fourth because that means that we've got to play a Champions League playoff game. So third would be nice. Let's G the boys up as much as possible. Get them back out there for the second half. And hopefully, the victory of dreams. I'm really happy with how we played in this match again. Again, I'm just going to keep boasting about the tactic, but I, I probably shouldn't. Let's see what we do in the second half. Real Betis probably will come out and try and uh, try and attack us a little bit more. Fakir has stayed on the pitch. He's knackered though, isn't he? He's knackered. He's tired, boys. And again, I'm just worried about the counter. They've got Pav on as well. Here we go. This is what they want to do. And he's put it wide. I really do want a new goalkeeper, though. It's, it's number one. I even wrote it down. There's only one thing written down on the pad. And that's sign a new goalkeeper. Because sometimes it's days before I come back to this severe save. And I can't... They've got my Gomez. When did that happen? Fakir. Oh, he puts it wide. It's days until I come back to this severe save. And then I really don't know where we are. So... I've written it down. It's in bold as well. Can can you write in bold with a big pen? I have. Anyway, I've written in bold. So, yeah, hopefully. Goalkeeper. We need to up our game now. They're starting to dominate a little bit. They're coming forward again now. Emerson. Emerson. Come on, Oscar. Do better there. We haven't won the ball back much, have we? Canelo straight at Valsic. We're frustrating them, though. We're frustrating them. I'm going to demand more from the boys, though. We're not really happy with this sitting back and chilling out for the second half. They're absolutely on top at the moment. We might have to change some stuff up, although Gubal's going to do well here. Oh, if Naziri gets through there, he doesn't, though. Emerson's going to come forward now. Oh, my Gomez. I don't like this. They're on top. Emerson. Canales again from distance, and he finally finds the back of the net. He's had a few pops from distance, and that's the one that scores the goal. It seemed a bit weak, right? We'll see it again here in 3D. They seem like a little bit of a weak shot. I'm not going to lie. Emerson passes it back in. Canales with the shot. It's a bit weak. I feel like the goalkeeper's positioning there is poor. I feel like the goalkeeper's positioning there is really poor. Now, we've got some players underperforming. We're going to bring off Munay here, who's surprisingly played really well recently. Clearly not having a good game today. And we're going to bring on Baron Echea as well. Both wingers have just not... They've just not got it going today. Rakitic will stay on because I feel like he's a bit of a difference maker. Well, if we're going to get another late goal like we have done recently, now would be the time for it. I'm not sure we're going to make another sub. The one thing I don't want to happen is them to get a late goal. Lioness there. Oh, my God. I don't want them to get a late goal, but he was offside, luckily for us. Let's make just a couple of late substitutes because we've got some tired legs out there. I'm not bringing off Acuna, though. He's too good. Take off Oscar for Oliver. And then we will... I don't want to bring off Rakitic. I don't want to bring off Rakitic. I'm going to go attacking. We're going to go for the game. Just in the dying embers of the match. I feel like, why not? We've scored a lot of late goals. Here we go. Rakitic. Is there going to be late drama for us again? Gomez. Navas. Oh, he had a great opportunity, didn't he? And now we're in trouble. No, now we're in big trouble. Look at how many bodies they had. Canales. Oh, well in, Kunde. Well, in Kunde getting back there, boys. That is fantastic from him. We committed a lot of bodies forward there. Way more than I expected us to have committed. Go on, Baron Achea now. Can we get a counter-attacking goal? Go on, Baron Achea. Freshly back from injury. They've not marked him. Baron Achea straight up, brother. Terrible. Terrible. 
There's more highlights here, boys. There's more highlights. This 1-1 one, one is not over just yet. And I'm hoping it's going to swing our way. We have got an attack in. John Jordan can try and win that back there. I thought he got it. If we win that... Oh, Pavon now. Their big, our biggest issue is they've got some really great dribblers. They've got some really good dribblers. Like, they've got players that are really comfortable on the football. Go on, Rakitic. Baron Acheya now. He's a good dribbler. Go on. And Naziri. Oh, he tried to play it across again. Suso will carry it out. What are you doing there, Suso? Try and whip it straight back across first time. I think a draw's a, a fair result. And like I said at the start of the game, I'm quite happy with a draw. There we go. It will be full time. I'm quite happy with a draw. I felt like we started the stronger side, but you can see it was a really even game between us and Betis. Canales, though, with a goal. I wouldn't mind him, but look at that. Estimated cost 60 million. He'd be a great player. He'd suit our style as well. He'd really suit our style. I'm racking my brain how we... I'm racking my brain. How we replace Rakitic is what I'm doing at the moment. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling because he is a difference maker usually. Didn't have a great game today, but he's had a good season. So as you can see, the draw doesn't really damage us too much in terms of the season, in terms of the league. Obviously, there's some key teams there doing well. We're still within touching distance of Valencia. We've got Atletico to play next, who aren't having a great season. Again, a draw there wouldn't be the end of the world. And hopefully, Villarreal keep dropping points, and Real Betis don't have the greatest of times. And we can comfortably finish in the top four, and I think that'll be enough for the board. Because we've teetered around a C all season, which has been a little bit worrying. And probably because of what they wanted us to do in the Champions League. But we have reached the semi-final of the Europa League. And imagine if we go on to win it as well. They did want us to reach the final of the Copa del Rey. But, you know, it happens. We got knocked out by Atletico Madrid. So, I feel like we've done okay. They want us to challenge for the title next season. And unless they're going to give me a budget that allows me to challenge Real Madrid and Barcelona, this board are clueless. They're absolutely clueless because at the moment, the finances aren't that great. I can't see them giving me an unbelievable budget. So how they think that we're going to challenge with Barcelona and Real Madrid, I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I won't leave it as long next time. We might come back for the second leg, actually, of the Rangers game, just depending on how that game's going. If not, we'll bring the final and the end of season. Because unless we're fighting for top four, if it's secured, I won't do another league game now. That'll be it for league games. If it's not secured, then we'll do a league game, end of the season, and then we will do the Europa League final as well. We'll just kind of see how, how the cookie crumbles. I don't know how the chips all fall into place. Kind of. I'll see you in the next one anyway, guys. Appreciate the spot as per usual. Take it easy. See you there.